first iteration of this product was called the Petaloid Voronoi. That was what was selected. And the reason behind that was to take an ordering system that seemed irregular to, to be able to give constant variation to the product, but had some logic in it. So if you see the detail of the table, there are these sort of petals and they're held together by these stems and their bases and they, they are inspired from nature. And the kind of products that I want to make are products that, that respond to that imagined context. And the imagined context here is that, can we create a table that is more than one table for more than one kind of user? And then the layers within it are the investigations of 3D printing, other technologies like, you know, standard technologies in the market like CNC work or metal work and kind of uniting those to create a very market friendly and current product. We have six units and they can be put together in a variety of formats. The formats are classic and accepted shapes. So for example, you have a rectangle that becomes a square. Um, you also have it becoming a hexagon, but you also have the potential of a bit of a fuzzy log logic where you create different patterns or different variations from that. Open petals that need some sort of porosity and some lightness are the ones that are treated with 3D printing and it definitely decreases the volume, makes the product more accessible pricing-wise. And to hold that to, to create the right detailing for it. There is a metal component which is a stem and the stems have their own uh, design vocabulary and parts of it. They're very straight and they fulfill a very simple structural function and in some cases they deviate out of that and they create a, a different catchment pattern. And then of course we use, we use 3D CNC milling to uh, create the bases that responded in some way to the inverse design of the, of the petal. You know, it could have been easy to produce the entire piece as a 3D printed piece, but then what would we have learned from the first season? Uh, the woodwork and the CNC work and the bases, we did realize that um, it was pretty much exactly what we set out to do in the beginning. So there wasn't much change. If you see, there is a correspondence between the petal work and the base work. And the way the tables fit together with the petals had to be the same way that they fit together in the base. Uh, so there wasn't necessarily a lot of design development there. A really interesting example of a change in the design of the stem. So initially, I wanted the stems to be exactly like you would find in nature. So you see an absolute curvature beginning from the point of a base and that you can see in the, in the previous design. You see an absolute curvature from the base. And in investigating that, we realized that wasn't really efficient. So the design then to change the center of gravity became more straight and then branched out. And in some cases we realized that we would want more than one branch. Each particular table decided to have its own right kind of support. At the end of the day, the support dynamic dictated the, the, the shape and form dynamic. The optimization of the formlets and the form of the table meant that you could walk into a store and pick up just a side table or just a coffee table or just a, a side table that that you know maybe can even be used in the in the bedroom it doesn't necessarily need to be in the living space but then again if you want to buy the entire piece you can too